Hi kids, welcome to Tea Fairy Storytime. Tea Fairy and Friends Storytime and Adventures. Look at this beautiful painting that my niece made me. Isn't it wonderful? It's gonna be like the center of all of my new episodes and at my live events. I'm so excited. Thank you, Kimberly, my amazing artist niece. So today we have one book because it's kind of a long book, but this gentleman, his name is Adrian Zarnecki, and he sent me a whole series of his books. So we're gonna be sharing them over the season. This is book number one. It's called Hot Rod Todd, Adventures of Hot Rod Todd, LLC, To the Rescue. And it is beautifully illustrated by Cameo Anderson and imagined and written by Adrian Zarnecki. Are you guys ready to listen to this fun book? I am. I've been very excited to share this series. Adrian is so much fun to speak with and interact with, and all of his lovely puppy pictures and videos that he's been sending me, I'll show them to you in a little while, okay? But right now, Hot Rod Todd, Adventures of Hot Rod Todd, LLC, to the rescue! Racing driver Hot Rod Todd is once again a winner. He's done it again, folks, says the announcer, who has side sidekick Siberian Husky Gandalf beside him. The racing hero Hot Rod Todd has won again. I'm Hot Rod Todd, says Hot Rod Todd. But when I'm not racing, we go on adventures. Barbecue Haiku and Eye Patch Echo are barking and howling up a storm, cheering for their brother. So this is Barbecue Haiku. And this is Eye, Pad, or eye Patch Echo. See, he's got a patch over his eye. And this is Hot Rod Todd. This is the announcer. And this is Siberian Husky Gandalf. Back in the garage, the phone rings. Barbecue Haiku answers. Hello, Hot Rod Todd Racing. How can I help you? Hey, sis. It's HRH Simba and Morris Coda. Our brothers, rock star Merck, was visiting us here in Montana. We went out for a walk, and now he's lost. We are so worried. Can you, Hot Rod Todd and Eye Patch Echo, come help find him? He's probably terrified out there in the wilderness all alone. We're on our way to help, says Barbecue Haiku. Montana, that's where the tea fairy grew up. Hot Rod Todd shouts out, load up, let's go save our brother. All three pups jump into the truck. Hot Rod Todd slams his paw down on the gas. The tires spin and dust goes flying. Look at all the dust. Heads back, Hot Rod Todd, BBQ Haiku, and Eye Patch Echo all howl together. Aroo, Butte, Montana, here we come to save our brother, rock star Merck. You silly pups, says Eye Patch Echo. Uh-oh. Hot Rod Todd, BBQ Haiku, and Eye Patch Echo are on paw, now heading into the Montana wilderness. In the trees, they see something. It's a giant black bear. Hot Rod Todd, even though scared, bravely asks, Hey, bear, have you seen our brother? He is lost. Baku the bear thinks of a few moments, or thinks for a few moments, and then says, yeah, I'm pretty sure that he is hiding up there in the caves, through the trees. But, he adds, you little puppies better beware of the two-legged wolf hunters that are out there. Oh, no. Look, they're cute little puppies. And that's a big black bear. The pups are really happy and thank Baku for his help. And then they're back on the search for their brother, rock star Merc. Baku the bear, ambling off, in the other direction, waves goodbye and again warns, little pups, you beware of them wolf hunters. All of a sudden, a huge cougar jumps into the middle of the path, blocking their way. Hot Rod Todd nervously asks, um, hello, we're looking for our brother. Have you seen him? Longtail, the cougar says, mmm, does he look like you? Someone stole food from my den this morning. That may have been him. 
Longtail points them in the direction of his den, and Eyepatch Echo thanks him. Thank you, sir, but are the pups prepared to go on up the trail? Longtail advises them, beware of the wolf hunters. Hot Rod Todd says, okay, thank you. We will stay here for the, for the night. Tired out, all curl up together. As dawn breaks, the pups wake and standing there looking down at the cowering pups is a huge wolf, Odin, the alpha wolf. He says, mmm, you must be those three husky puppies from the city we've been hearing about. Yes, sir, says Hot Rod Todd bravely. We are here looking for our brother, Rockstar Merc, who is lost and all alone out there in the wilderness. Have you seen him? Barbecue Haiku says, Freya, sorry, Barbecue Haku asks Freya the alpha female wolf as the wolf pack looks on from the trees. Do you see all the eyes in the trees? That's more wolves. So I think this one is Freya and this one is Odin, which are both names for gods, Norse gods, I believe. Come over here and bring that little pup with you, says Odin to Freya his alpha female, and there, tail wagging, is rock star Merc walking beside her. We found him near the caves. He was stealing Longtail's food, says Freya, who has her paw protectively around him. There he is, rock, rock star Merc. At first light, you must leave the wilderness. It is very dangerous for you, warns Odin with authority. The wolf hunters are here in the forest. They may think that you are our wolf cubs, and wolf cubs, you most certainly are not. With rock star Merc, that's the guy in the purple scarf, safe and sound, all four puppies are so happy with their tails in the air, they start back down the forest trail towards safety. Boy, oh boy, says Hot Rod Todd, our brothers, Morse Coda and HRH Simba, will be so happy we found you. What's that in the bushes? Do you see it? Is it eyes? They were so worried, and so were we, says Barbecue Haiku, whilst Eye Patch Echo adds, silly pup, fancy getting lost. The pups tease their brother and continue on their way, unaware of the danger, the trap, the net, laying across the trail in front of them. Do you guys see the net? It's right here. Uh-oh, that's not good. What can we do? We are trapped in this net, howls Eye Patch Echo. Echo. Ha! Not a big wolf that we, have, we had hoped for. Just four wolf puppies. But you can get a good price for them, says the hunter as he holds a squirming rock star Merc for the scruff of his neck. Barbecue Haiku, Eyepatch Echo, and Hot Rod Todd put their heads back and howl. Aroo! We are Siberian Husky puppies! We aren't wolf puppies! Please, please let us go, sir! Please! Meanwhile, who is that coming down the trail? It's Longtail, and he looks angry. You guys remember what Longtail is? He's a mountain lion or a cougar. As Baku, there's Baku, the bear, Alpha o Wolf Odin. Where is Alpha Wolf Odin? There he is. And Freya surround the hunters and keep them away from their guns. Longtail says to the puppies, you are safe, little ones. We are here for you. Baku, Odin, Freya, and the pack. All four pups who had been howling in fear of the hunters are now happy and smiling only as Siberian Husky puppies can as their new friends who have united together in friendship set them free. Look at the bear. He's trying to protect the box of guns so that the hunters can't get to it. That's good. We heard your howls, little husky pups. Your calls of the wild, says Alpha Female, Wolf Freya. Climb onto our backs and we will take you to safety while Odin, Longtail, and Baku keep the hunters here. The pups climbed onto the backs of the wolves and led by Freya, they make their way down through the forest towards safety. All four puppies wag their tails and sigh with relief at being saved. Look at him riding on the, on the wolves. That's silly. As Freya leads the pack with the puppies down the mountain trail, the hunter is very nervous, not knowing his fate. 
Alpha Wolf Odin says to Baku and Longtail, here in the wilderness, we may not always be friends and have peace between us, but today, today we have done good saving those little husky puppies. Yes, says Longtail, today we united, we worked together without a thought for any differences we may have. Yes, agreed Baku, today as friends, we helped these husky puppies get back to their world safe and sound. We did good. The three look at the hunter and say, perhaps today he has learned a lesson also. We will free him. It's sad, but wolves are not welcome here, says Alpha Wolf Odin, looking at the city skyline beyond. This is your world, not ours. He says with a tear in his eye, look, your brothers HRH Simba and Morris Coda are here on their way to take you home. Looking up at Odin and Rockstar Mer Merc, tearfully says, thank you, Odin. You will always be in our hearts. Yes, says Hot Rod Todd. Always, says Barbecue Haiku. Friends forever, says Eye Patch Echo. Friends in need are friends indeed. And look, there's the other two puppies that we haven't met yet. H.R.H. Simba and Morse Coda. Thank you for rescuing me, says Rockstar Merc. I was so lost and hungry, all the pups hoot, howl, and dance, and wag their tails around. Rockstar Merc with Morris Coda and H.R.H. Simba high pawing. Instead of high-fiving, they're using high paws. They're going with their paws. As they dance joyously, Barbecue Haiku, Hot Rod Todd, and Eye Patch Echo call out, family is everything. We will always be here for each other, and we will always have friends here in the wilderness. Back at the racetrack, Hot Rod Todd pulls up in a newly painted truck. Hey, Hot Rod Todd, says the announcer, looking down at the truck from the gantry while his, whilst his sidekick, Gandal, takes photographs. Love your new paint job. What's with the wolf, bear, and cougar? See on the hood of the car? He's got a wolf, a bear, and a cougar painted on the front of the car. All of Hot Rod Todd's fans are in the stands watching and smiling as Hot Rod Todd says with a husky grin on his face, that's Odin, Longtail, and Baku, our new friends, who worked together as one in the Montana wilderness and saved us all from the danger. Everyone watching is so excited and they whoop and cheer in happiness and joy. And then on this page here, you can see pictures of the different puppies. Here's an actual photo of Todd, also known as Hot Rod Todd. And here's a photo of Haiku, also known as Barbecue Haiku, and Echo, and Mercy, or Mercs, and Simba, and Coda. And then there are cartoons here, and it actually tells a little bit about the puppies. And then this is their mom and dad. Mom is Empress Maya, and dad is Damien Czar. What a fun book. You can actually find this book at adventuresofhotrodtodd.com. And this author has a Facebook page for Hot Rod Todd books. I thought, since we were talking about Montana and the wildlife in Montana, that I would put together a short video of Montana wildlife. So stay tuned for that. But first, before we go to that, one of the things you will find in Montana that was not in the book is buffalo, also known as the American bison. And when I grew up there as a little girl, I got to see quite a few of these guys. And I have this book that belonged to my grandmother. It's called The Last of the Buffalo, The History of the Buffalo Herd of the Flathead Indian Reservation, an account of the Great Roundup, which was actually a really sad experience and very tragic as they almost killed all the buffaloes. But it's got some really cool photographs of buffaloes in it, like this one right here. Can you get a close-up of that, guys? And there's another one. And there's so many other wonderful animals in the wildlife. Now, again, it mentions that this, this book is about um, the buffalo herd of the Flathead Indian Reservation. So before we go to the video about the animals, the Flathead Indian Reservation was very near where I grew up. And these were made 
by Flathead Indians. These are little booties that my grandfather wore when he was very small. I guess they're moccasins. Can you say moccasins? And this is actually a purse that was made for my grandmother. You can see inside the purse. It was made by Flathead Indians. And you can see the patterns of the beadwork. And the beads are coming undone. There used to be beads on the booties, too. You can see the remnants of the beads that were on here and the strings that held them in place. And they were for very tiny feet. Are you guys ready for the video about the animals that live in the wilds of Montana? I am. Here we go. Montana Wildlife. Montana is home to many wild animals like the screaming marmots, American bison, also known as buffalo, and moose, snowy mountains, and cougars, also known as mountain lions. There are many beautiful lakes in Montana and bighorn sheep. Oh dear! Mountain goats. Big skies. Bears. <coughs> Grizzly bears. Bear grass. Black bear. Lots of forests. And the American bald eagles. Waterfalls. Otters. Beavers. Big mountains and glaciers. Elk. Antelope. How many can you count? Cold rivers. Colorful rocks and crickets. Trout and other fish. Lots of birds. Mountains, flowers, trees, and bees. Timber wolves. And fox. Mountains of sandstone. P.U. skunks. Porcupine. Beautiful lakes and rolling hills. Weasels. This is a mink. There's lots of beautiful cabins and barns all over Montana. I love owls. And red squirrels. There's even chipmunks. So much beauty. I see a raccoon. Have you ever heard of a muskrat? What about a mole? Montana is beautiful. Montana is wild. The marmot screams. Ranger Robin. I work in the forest with the plants, trees, and animals. Oh, I take care of the land and make sure the forest is safe. I like my job. So I get to work outdoors in nature and because I think animals are amazing. Do you like animals? I thought so. winter here in the forest. I'm wearing my scarf and gloves to keep warm. But how do animals keep warm in the winter? Some animals hibernate when it gets really cold outside. That's a long word. Let's learn how to spell hibernate. Hibernate. H-I-B-E-R-N-A-T-E. Hibernate. When an animal hibernates, they hide away for a long time during winter, usually in a cave or a tree or a hole in the ground. <sighs> Cold can be dangerous for some animals. So they hide away to keep warm during winter. So 
after an animal goes into their cave or tree or hole in the ground, they relax their bodies, then they breathe in deeply and slowly to calm down. Then they rest their heads and sleep, waiting for the danger to pass. Bears are big and hairy. They swim and climb in trees. But when the cold of winter comes, they need to rest and hide. Crawl into a cave, take a deep breath, and catch some Z's. Bears are really big. I bet they find really big caves to hide in when they hibernate. Have you ever built a really big blanket fort? It's so fun to build forts inside with blankets. You can build one and then pretend to be a bear in his cave. But first, let's learn how to growl like a bear. Captain Al, come in. Growling like a bear, over. Copy that, growling like a bear. Captain Al, out. So this is the sound of a bear. The one that I do is a little bit scary. It's usually when they're kind of angry, but it's kind of funny too. Kind of the way to do it is to do the grr sound, go grr, but you've got to do it breathing in. Don't choke yourself, but breathe in while you're saying grr, and you can get the grr, grr. And then when you use your hands to cover it, you get the really deeper sound. <coughs> Ooh, that's a really hard noise to make. If you want to make an easier sound, you can roar like a bear too. Roar! Both of those noises are a bit scary, but they're super fun to try. There's so many different animal noises because there's so many animals in the world. This world is full of places to look for animals. When you go outside, where do you see animals? It's so beautiful out in the forest today. Before I go, I want you to remember something. It's okay to hibernate like an animal when you're upset or scared. Do you remember what to do? Find a safe place, relax your body, breathe deeply and slowly. Everyone in the world gets upset and scared sometimes, even Ranger Robin. What helps me is to remember that I'm not alone, that we are in this wild and wonderful world together. I hope that makes you feel a little better too. See you later, alligator. Let's say goodbye with hibernating animals. Take care, hibernating bear. <laughs> Take a break, sleepy snake. <laughs> goodbye for now. I am a buffalo, and this is my buffalo paddle puppet mask. And on the back, it has a picture of a buffalo, and it says, Bison, American Buffalo. The magnificent one-ton animal stands five to six feet high at the shoulder, and it is over six and a half feet long. It's established that there were over 60 million of America's heaviest land animals roaming the continent when settlers first arrived. I am a buffalo, and I have a friend who's a wolf. <gasps> Hi, Hello. wolf. Hello, I'm a wolf. We live in Montana, just like buffalo. And where else do wolves and buffaloes live? Well, wolves live in Asia, Europe, and North America. We were plentiful until humans, to protect their own herds, started reducing our numbers to almost extinction. And actually, we don't attack humans or kill domestic animals unless game is scarce. We're much more likely to hunt in packs and hunt large game like the buffalo. <gasps> you can find buffaloes in the northern part 
of America and the southern part of Canada. States like Montana and Wyoming and Colorado. Colorado? I'm from Colorado. I grew up in Boulder. I grew up in Kalispell, Montana and Glacier Park area. It was a lot of fun. Buffaloes? I have seen a lot of buffaloes. Have you ever seen buffaloes? Yes, I think they're beautiful. I do too. Have you ever seen wolves? Actually, I have. Really? Mm hmm. I have not, other than in the zoos. Oh, well, hopefully you'll get to see one someday. I hope so. Now, you're going to share a little bit about Hot Rod Todd's Learning ABC's workbook. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Hi, friends. Jennifer here, and I'm going to introduce you to this awesome book called Hot Rod Todd, Adventures of Hot Rod Todd, LLC, and it's the Learning ABC's book. So this book is a little different than the other books we've been talking about because it's an activity book. I love these kind of books. So inside you can practice your ABC's. See? It says A is for apple, says Hot Rod Todd. How many A's and A's can you find here? See? And it goes through each of the letters. See? And we have our different friends from the Husky Pack. Look, it's Eye Patch Echo doing E. Eye Patch Echo knows E is for eyes. Eyes. How many E's and E's can you find here? So you go through and you count. And we go all the way through the alphabet. K and L, and we're getting all the way through the ABCs. Do you know your ABCs? And once we get through to the alphabet, then we have some activities. See here? There's a, a word search where you can look for our friends' names, like racetrack and Echo and Haku and Rockstar. Do you see any letter, any words? Mm, maybe you should get a copy of this book and try it out. And there's also some practice, copy pa practice, which is really great for pre-K and kindergarten age kids, or, or even anyone who's looking to practice maybe a new style of writing or calligraphy. Do you know what calligraphy is? Calligraphy is writing fancy lettering and taking your time to, to write things just so. And there's some coloring pages. These coloring pages are awesome because they're scenes from the books. Very fun. Got a couple more. And then at the end, we get to learn about the puppies. Because The Adventures of Hot Rod Todd is a series of books that's inspired by a litter of Siberian Huskies that were born in 2019. See? So we have Todd and Haku and Echo and Merc and Simba and Coda. And they're a six pack. And there's Mom and Dad. Well, these dogs sure are cute, aren't they? Do you have a dog? I don't have a dog, but if I did, I'd like for it to be a husky. <laughs> this is a great book. Thank you so much for sending it to us, Adrian. Let's watch a video about husky puppies next. Hi there, my name's Adrian, and these are my dogs. This is Empress Maya, and Damien Zar. Attention please, we've got to have a serious conversation here. Are you got that? <coughs> what, 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 what? <coughs> what do you mean you're having puppies? <coughs> does, does Maya know? Do you know you're having puppies? <coughs> you having puppies? <coughs> what does Maya say? <coughs> huh? Maya, you having puppies? <coughs> Who's having puppies? Maya? <coughs> Damien? <coughs> Oh. 
that's Damien, he's the daddy. This is Maya, she's the mummy. And there's the puppy still in Maya's tummy. There's Daddy in the whelping box with all the puppies. He's so happy. And there's all the puppies curled up in a little pink box. They're so cute, they're so small, but they grow fast. They grow very, very fast. They can be nuisances at times, and sometimes they're not. They can be mucky pups, and then they can be loving pups. Daddy loves to play with the puppies. Mummy cleans the puppies whilst Daddy looks on. They love their babies. Look at that tiny little paw print. Oh, that's so cute. There's Daddy watching the puppies. There's the puppies playing with Daddy. There's Daddy playing with the puppies. He's being such a silly Billy. He loves to play with the puppies. They love to play with him too. He's such a good Daddy. Look at that. Get him puppies. Go get him puppies. We love our Daddy. We love our Daddy. Go get him puppies. They love story times. There's Hot Rod Todd. He's the leader of the pack. He's such a good boy. And there's Barbecue Haku. She's the only girl in the pack and she's so cute. There's Eye Patch Echo. He has a bad eye. Poor boy. Look at that little eye. But he's so cute. There's Simba. He's royalty as Simba. And there's Coda. He's a geek. He loves computers and things like this. And there's Rockstar Merc. And he goes on the worldwide tours. And there's all the puppies. And they are quite the team. There's Daddy playing with one of the puppies. <laughs> Who's going to win? Look at that little baby. She's not going to stand for this with her daddy. Yeah, I'm coming after you, daddy. Oh, there's Penelope, Lady Penelope. She was from a decent litter, and she loves the snow. Look at that. She is covered in snow. Maybe that's why huskies are called snow dogs. Oh, there's Damien. Oh, oh they've got a stick. Who's going to win? Uh-oh. They've stolen Lady Penelope's sticks. Oh, Maya's there too. Empress Maya and Damien Tsar, they're trying to steal the baby's stick. They are so bad, but look at that little baby. He's not going to stand for this. They're not going to stand for this. I'm going to get my stick back. I'm going to get my stick back. Come on, give me my stick. Where's my stick? Ruff, 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 ruff. Look at that, they are so happy. Helping mummy cooking, uh-oh, that's not dinner. Uh-oh, oh, food, yum, yum, yum. And of course, they are all in the books. As you can see, there's three story books, there's a coloring book, and there's a learning ABCs book. Hi kids, that was fun, don't you think? I loved the books about the Huskies. And it was fun being able to show you my show and tell things, my, my grandmother's and my grandfather's items, and these fun masks. And the videos about the animals and about the husky puppies. Oh, I love husky puppies. They're so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.